There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. <laughs> Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. If you did Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern, this next mission immediately happens after the ending of Blood Feuds Ancient and Modern. So... The gang is being pursued by Pinkertons. Now they have the whole problem with the Greys and Braithwaite's ended and there is no gold at all. They need a new place to stay. Well, Mr. Morgan and Lenny know of a place for them to stay. It's Shady Bell. And this is the Battle of Shady Bell. It's going to work out, John. It's going to work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll she kill us all. I know, but looking at this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. Eh? We killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderland, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'll be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. 
and quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back. And we'll get going. Rest of you get packing. Come on, John. This is crazy. Now on the ride out, John and Mr. Morgan have a chat, like all rides. And, well, the ride to Shady Bell is a decent length, so there's plenty of time to chatter. And I'm going to fast forward through it, because if you're going to play this mission, you'll hear the chatter. And it's one about how John feels like he's not been a good father, or at least... It's implying that. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Some here. I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. I'm coming for you. You hear me? Come on. I got a bullet here waiting for you. Sorry, boys. This is ours now. Where are you, creeps, huh? Come out where I can shoot you. Come and fight me then. Come on now, girly. Fight me like a goddamn man. Come on. How's it looking up there? I found 
think we're clear. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Now that the house is cleared, you gotta move some dead bodies and dump them into a swamp so that the house is, well, presentable, I guess, to the people who are going to be coming and living there. I mean, you don't want corpses lying around stinking the place up, I guess. So, yep, let's haul some dead bodies to the swamp. This way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay. I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guiding them in. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. girl all i've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two i got far more important things to worry about right now than molly o'shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world sand denis i keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right 
Guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. And there you have it, Chapter 4, St. Denis. And it's now up to Arthur to start searching for Jack, the missing boy. And eventually that leads into more adventures that I will be posting along with other videos. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. I try and respond to all comments. I thank you for watching. Viewership is a good thing. Subscriptions are better. And if you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. You'll be informed when I post a video. I do four videos a week about video games. And it is a mix mash right now of at least five different games. And if you like a specific game, you can just watch the playlist of that specific game at your leisure. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.